What's going on, everybody? Hey, James Hurst again with The Marketing Show. It was good to see a bunch of you at the Josh Nelson Seven Figure Agency event in Miami. It was also good to see a bunch of you at the Dallas event there, uh, the Sasspreneur Summit. But hey, today we're going to talk about affiliate notifications, right? Who doesn't like to get an email when they made a sale, right? Stripe notifications, email notifications. Well, it's all there. You just have to kind of put, the, put together the pieces of the building blocks. So let's jump right in. This is going to be a quick one, actually. So we're just trying to do a, an email like this. Hey, congrats. You just made 50 bucks from this uh, contact in their email. You might want to send them a bonus if you promise bonuses, right? So there's their email, phone, the total revenue, and then how much they made. And then if you're going to be fancy, go ahead and send a link back to their dashboard so they can review all their stats, their leads, their total amount that they've made, okay? So right now, let's go ahead and jump right into the workflow builder, okay? This is the, this is the final thing, what it looks like. We'll build it together right alongside here. So the trigger is gonna be a new affiliate sale from an existing campaign. So this does, it, this does assume that you have an affiliate campaign set up. If you haven't seen that video with me and Danny Clark, uh, we've got a whole video that says, hey, if you're using high level, why haven't you started using the affiliate software? Okay, let's we'll show you how to set that all up in detail. It's like an hour long, okay, it's well worth it. So check that video out if you haven't, but you're gonna need an existing campaign. So right here, you're just gonna go to trigger. You're gonna start searching for affiliate. Uh, it's going to say new affiliate sales, right? And then you'll do add a filter, campaign, and then you have a variety of different campaigns. Campaign is, and then there's my campaign, okay? I already have it here, so I won't keep that one. Then, you know, if you want to just do an internal notification to yourself, to your team, this is where you could or would do that. And you can, you can copy this if you want, but basically it, the merge code is affiliate sales, affiliate name. So... John Doe sold uh, expert campaign to Jane Doe for a hundred dollars. I'm putting it with respect to you. How much did your total revenue? Uh, how much did you make on a total revenue basis? Uh, the affiliate's going to care about what they earned. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. You guys are welcome to copy that. Where am I finding those affiliate? This is really the key to the problem here. Where am I finding those affiliate merge codes? Well, if I just hit enter here, and then if I zoom in a little bit here, so you can see. I am going to go right here and click the merge field custom values. There's contact, right? You're familiar with that user, etc. right here, new affiliate sales. And there's the key. These are the pieces of data that we can use in our emails. Okay. So the affiliate name, the first name, last name, email, that's the affiliate. Then the total revenue commissioned earn. If I want to do it with respect to the contact that just made the purchase, then I would go back to the, to the contact up here. So you'll see that how we mix and match the contact information and the affiliates information. Okay. <clears throat> So that's all I did there. That's an internal notification that's going to pop up on my, on my mobile app, Lead Connector app, okay? So let's go ahead and save that. And then this is really the meat of, of the, the tutorial right here, is send a congrats email to the affiliate. Now, you wouldn't send an email. So if you use the typical, if you use the standard send email, well, that's, that's with the respect to the contact itself. So you're not going to send that kind of an email. The way you're going to do this is with an internal notification of type email. Okay, so let's go ahead and make one together here. Hit the plus sign. I'm going to start typing internal. So there's internal. And I'm going to go ahead and make it an email. Okay, and the key to this here is, yes, you're going to have your phone. Some of them from James Hurst. And then whatever email, james at jameshurst.com, etc. That's fine. This is the key right here. To user type, it's actually going to be a custom email. And then from there, you're going to use the merge field of the affiliate's email. That's really the key. So there's the merge field picker, new affiliate sales, and then the affiliate email. Affiliate sales, affiliate email. Okay. And if I was to make this a little bit more pretty, I would say, you know, send congrats email to the affiliate. Okay. And then we'll use some similar merge fields here in the subject. Let me go ahead and just stub this out. So let me just put this here so I can save that. Um, if you want to just save the thing, I just put a little bit in all the required fields. Let's take a look at what I did for the uh, subject line. Congrats, affiliate first name, exclamation, right? You just made $58, uh, aff affiliate sales commission amount, and then exclamation point, okay? So it's like, that's the most exciting thing. Hey, congrats, James, you just made 80 bucks. You just made 3,000 bucks, whatever, okay? 
So that's my uh, subject line. Congrats, first name. And again, where am I getting those merge fields from? From those from the custom values. Okay, we'll get some more practice with that right here. So this is where we're going to mix and match the contact merge fields and the affiliate merge fields. So congratulations, affiliate sales dot affiliate dot first name. I'll, I'll go ahead and show you one more time where I found that. That's right here. Um, affiliate new affiliate sales and then affiliate first name, just like that. You have just earned a commission from the campaign name. Okay, so what did I name that campaign? Was it the Expert Summit? Was my Plinko snapshot? Was it whatever it is? Okay, you might need to tweak this. You might need to hard code it. Maybe you don't like how that comes out when it, when you see it after a test. And so you just come in here and say the Expert Summit, and just type it out, hard code it. That's what we call hard code. It's just going to be written out explicitly. Okay, then you're going to be using the contact merge fields. Hey, who was the person that you made the sale to? That's going to come through right there. Okay. And then the total revenue is sales revenue. And then the commission earned with what they care about. How much did they make? Okay. You could end it right there. But if you wanted to kind of reinforce that, you could say, hey, keep sharing your link. Go ahead and see all your leads and sales in our affiliate dashboard here. So uh, that's just going to be your specific link. You'll have to go find it. You know, and let's say that link clicks out to here, then they're going to come into a dashboard like this. They can see how their sales are going, get their link again if they need it. And that's how you would do that. OK, so that's really that's really it. Right. It's so small, it's barely worth making a snapshot for. But I realize, you know, you probably want you probably would love to just copy this right out of here. So maybe I'll throw. Uh, throw the, the context of these variables, you know, in, in the link, you know, in the comments of this video somewhere, you guys can just have it. Uh, guys, this would be actually something we would include in an affiliate manager build out. So as the bounty hunters, we actually have, we set up our own affiliate software uh, that you can have someone set up your entire affiliate manager of this, which one of these workflows would be this one, as well as the affiliate manager setup and the, the landing pages, you know, to recruit new affiliates. We're doing 500 bucks right now for that. So take a look at that if you're interested as well. But if not, just enjoy this free training on how to notify your affiliate when they make a sale, your affiliates when they make a sale. And hopefully that creates a virtuous cycle of more and more sales and more and more excitement. With that being said, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.